Hello, I want to take this opportunity to introduce you to a Microsoft Access database that can be used for welder qualification records. This one is designed around the current form that's in AWS D1.1. There's a menu for the company information. Companies can be either construction companies, your company, companies you may be testing for, or other organizations. They'll be referred to in various ways in the database. Within this form, I can view tests that have been used for this company. And then when this type of form comes up, I can actually see details of the specific test by highlighting it and clicking View Selected Test. The way that the test entry form is designed is you select a welder out of a list of welders' names. Then you select the type of test that's used. And then you'll complete the remaining information on the test in the Inspection Testing Certification tab. The Welders and Test menu will also act some, access some of the same information. It will also give you access to the welder information form that needs to be used for any welder that you're going to test. And this allows you to put in last name, first name, and other additional information for that welder. From this form, you can also view the tests that were done by the specific welder. And just like before, I can select one of those tests and select View Selected Test. I can view a list of all the welder tests that have been used and that have been entered into the system, and then again, still see the details. To add a new welder test, I would just click this button, and that would give me a blank form. So in this case, I'll select the welder out of the list, which test he did. company that he tested for, and the name of the witness, if there was a company witness. After that information is entered, the weld test ranges are automatically generated. These cannot be edited from this form. However, the inspection test and the certification information will need to be completed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can see the new test has been added right here. Uh, the record wasn't completed, so it's not listed as accepted or rejected. Records can't be edited from this menu or from this form. For weld test ranges, which are the variables that are used for the weld test, a specific form is listed where you can edit and view these ranges. You've got to understand that if one of these ranges is changed on this form, Any test that's related to this will also be edited. So I would suggest only changing existing test information if there's a typo. You notice here's the XXX that I'd previously entered. I can also change this from the instructions edit view all test ranges or edit view this specific test range. Here's the XXX. Save the record. Close the form. And now when I go back to the ranges you'll see that that's been corrected. Again the important thing to understand is that if you change this record for this specific test anybody else that's used this test will have their record altered. Again, this is just a, a demonstration of using Microsoft Access for creating an application that you could track welder qualification records with. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, or you can email me at gerald, G-E-R-A-L-D, at weldingdata.com. Have a good day.